Labib from Bangladesh. Sheikh, uh, there is a uh, hadith where a Sahabi, uh, he taught someone a Quran. And, uh, and that uh, guy gave him a, a bow, if I'm not mistaken. And the Prophet ﷺ prohibited him from taking that. Now, the question is, Sheikh, um, I have seen in one of your videos, you said that taking, uh, teaching Quran and taking money is permissible. And there is a hadith in Bukhari, uh, Abu Sayyid al-Khudri, about uh, the Ruqya thing. Correct. And he read the opening of the surah. Yes. Some, uh, da'i, some da'i are saying that this uh, hadith, this hadith, uh, it, this can be, the, uh, the contract can be done with the Quran if it is necessary. Sahabi did that in necessary. And they are saying the basic thing is that taking money for reading the, uh, teaching the Quran is not permissible. And they also say uh, it's not permissible even for a da'i or a lecturer to contact uh, if he is been invited to give a lecture he cannot give uh, he can contact like how much money he should get or not so okay. can you please clarify about this hadith i will do that hadith from bangladesh there is a hadith and the hadith is authentic where the prophet alayhi salatu was salam was approached by a man of the companions and he said that i used to teach someone from a suffa and a suffa is the poor uh, uh, migrants from the companions who has who have zero they're the migrants who live in the masjid they don't have cupboards they don't have wardrobes they don't have except the set of clothes they're wearing and nothing so they are the poorest of the poor so he said that I used to teach him the Quran and then he gave me a bow as a present the Prophet told him not to take that bow so the scholars said that this is an indication that it is totally prohibited to accept anything from the Quran, uh, uh, for teaching the Quran. And this is not true. The hadith in, has a number of interpretations. Go to Islam Q&A and visit it and you will see these interpretations. One of them that this was an agreement between both of them. The man doesn't need the money and the, uh, the one learning did not give any commitment. So it should be for the sake of Allah, the Prophet is telling him what is best. And no one disputes that it is best for you not to charge. But at the same time, the ample evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah indicate that it is permissible for a person to charge for whatever lecture he's giving, whatever Quran verses he's teaching. Otherwise, people would not spread the word of Allah in the sense no imams would lead the prayer. No mu'adhin would be uh, giving his full time for adhan. No teachers would be teaching in schools and universities. This is not a charity. When I teach the Quran or I teach Islam and I don't have any other source of income, what am I supposed to do? Beg people? No. I'm charging not to teach the Quran. Rather, to, I'm charging money for my time, for my effort in order to devote myself for this. I can't go to a brain surgeon and say, you should not take money for what you do. He said, no, this is not Islam. Anything goes, Islam, no. No, this is not true. The hadith you've mentioned of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, the Prophet approved it, alayhi salatu wasalam, and said, give me a portion of it. The Prophet wasn't in need of a portion of it, of the 30 uh, heads of, of sheep. Yet he approved that reciting the Quran as form of healing, and charging 30 heads of sheep is totally legit. And the best thing to charge money for is teaching the Quran, as the Prophet said in this hadith. Wallahu a'lam.